Hey guys, what is up? My name is Mpo and welcome to Blender in 5 minutes. Today I want to show you how to create this realistic puddle in Blender. So if you have a look at the scene, all I have here is just a piece of plane, um, which I will be adding my texture onto. And then I'm going to open the shader editor and add in my textures. Uh, right over here, I have my color on top, my color texture, uh, which just basically contains the information of the, the color. And then here I have the wet map and I have a glass map and a normal map. These are just basic shader maps, um, which you use for PBR shading. So I'm just going to collect the color into the, the principal BSDF and the glass into the roughness, as well as the normal into the normal. Right now, if you have a look at that, it does look much better, but now we need to fix the, the normal map. So I'm gonna add in a normal map and just plug it in like that. And as you can see, it just looks much better. And I'm gonna decrease the value to something like 0.2. And shift A, I'm going to add in a mixed RGB, just add it into the color. And what I want to do with this one is I want to connect, connect the wet map with the, the mix. Um, so in real life, what happens is when a surface gets wet, it gets darker. And this is uh, what I'm trying to achieve over here. and you can change different HDRs over there. So the next thing to do is to tweak the glass, uh, the, the roughness, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing, connect the wet, uh, wet map into the multiply node. And it'll just make things much reflective where the, the, the dark parts of the wet map is. And add in a bump map, we want to now add in some height variation to the the wet parts and the not so wet parts so if you can have a look here it is a bit strong so i'm going to decrease that to points point two or point one i think should be fine this is all up to you but as you can have a look we now have some height information and it, it just looks better um if you ask me and from here, it will be time to take it to the next step where we add in some lights and so on. So what I have here is just a couple of planes, um, which I set as an emission. Um, as you can see, these are just images, which are just set as an emission. And going into the camera view, I want to show you how that looks. All right, so that looks very realistic, isn't it? And this is just the same texture that we made in the, the beginning. So to add some more interest, I'm gonna add in a light source and move it onto the side just to catch some of those extra reflections, um, some, some colors and so on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change this to an orange color, but this is all up to you as I'm saying, you can choose any color you want. So I just wanted to um, add something interesting. And that will be it, honestly. That's Blender in five minutes. Tune in to the next episode where I'll be releasing some more interesting content. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any new content.